Hey, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Ooh, you guys, it's coming a big storm here. You want to see it? Oh, it pertains to a Virgo and who else? Virgo and who else? Uh, yeah, it's, it just made a big old boom. You want to hurt it, you guys. Oh, Virgo and Aquarius, it's for you all. And, and I done told you, um, I'm with my... With my <laughs> I don't know that, you know it. And it could pertain to a cancer around you also, okay? And that's all the energies I'm going to pull out. And underneath is Pisces. They're, so this cancer might be feeling sensitive since it was the last one there. So anyway, let's get into it. And, you know, I had one reading, you all, that I did for Virgo. And um, it was about... It might have been two months ago, you all, but I only had like 30 some views, I think. And if y'all ain't watched that, if you if you're a Virgo or no Virgo and you're new to my channel, you were to watch it and watch it all the way through. And at the end, there's a storm comes. You were to watch it because that's when uh, uh, lightning struck my house and tore up a lot of my stuff. And I felt it in my I, I felt it in my feet, and it helped me on my spiritual journey. I know it did. I know it did because things started coming together, but. Y'all need to watch it. Uh, Spirit said watch it. And it, it's a Virgo reading. And it was done two months ago. And uh, like I said, I titled it. It says uh, the lights go out in the reading. You got to look on that one. All right. So here we go. And I love y'all. And I thank you, my loyal subscribers and my new subscribers. I welcome you. And I hope I can give you something else today. So this is about giving and receiving equally. You're a person that knows how to do that. And if you're off balance, see those three over here. And... If it ain't three over here, then you ain't balanced. And, and you know, um, you might have been off balance and you was being brick crumbed, okay? You was being brick crumbed, Queen of Swords. Or uh, you was brick crumbing somebody, Queen of Swords, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aquarius pulled out. But uh, you're somebody who is uh, very loyal and uh, you use your smart mind. And, you know, you can use your mind and heart, your Queen of Swords. Um, you know how to put that sword up and cut people off too. But you just feeling wounded. You just feeling like a wounded little warrior or somebody around you was feeling wounded. Uh, it was about rejection, okay? Listen to what I'm saying now. It's about rejection and balance came. Uh, the angels came and balanced this out. You're, you're balanced in your feminine and masculine energies. You, 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 you're teaching people that we all have masculine and feminine energies. And, and you're balanced in that. The angels blessed you and come into your life at that time to do that. And, you know, you was somebody that was um, standing up for your beliefs, what you thought was true at that time, okay? And, um, you know, it was, you, you had a confusion decision, um, Aquarius, um, since you pulled out, you know. It, it was all wishful temp thinking and temptations, you know, and a lot of people that come to tarot, they've been tempted a lot in their life. And especially if you uh, use drugs before, you're going to get tempted by people. And you know you're going to get tempted by people, don't you all, if you all partied with them. You're going to get tempted by them people, right? Do you understand that? And see, I understand that now. But you were standing up for a confusing idea that was uh, in your head. That's that's what it was. And, and spirit took you away from that. Spirit uh, uh, made you quit thinking about that all the time in your mind and make because it was making you feel wounded, okay? Because, you know, nobody likes to be rejected. Anybody with common sense doesn't. But you started a new project and, um, you know, uh, you got a can do a attitude and a hands on approach to everything. And there's some Queen of Pentacles around you that you know or something. Evidently. There's a queen of pentacles around that, you know, and and she's someone who is a, very beautiful and vibrant and wealthy. She has a lot of wealth, um, and she might be balanced in her spirituality and things, but she might not be. She might be, that might be a religious person now, just this is what I'm telling you. And, under, uh, and then it pulled out uh this queen of pentacles she's been waiting on her ships to come in and you it, she was waiting on you to come to her to fix this problem or you listen whatever it was so you know this woman and that woman that woman of our might been older you know and had more wealth than you and she was waiting on you to come to her about something are you listening she's waiting on you to fix this problem 
and you moved away from all this situation. You and your family moved away. That's why it's a man and a woman and a kid. Y'all moved away. And you're alchemizing the life you want. You're you're maybe starting a business or something. Uh, you know how to turn your base motives into gold, though. That's what you know how to do. You know, you're a true magician. You're our sign, you know. And look, you're a Virgo. I love you, spirit. And as a Virgo is a magician and Aquarius, you are a magician. You're the true magician. Did you know that? Oh, I love you. And that's my partner. <laughs> oh, and looky here. And if you're new to my channel and you're a Virgo and Aquarius, go ahead and hit subscribe because these energies come out a lot over here. Oh, and you got a lot of strength and willpower and dedication. You're dedicated. And, and, you know, you've lived a long time. you got a lot of infinite knowledge inside of you. And, and you're strong in... Uh, and and uh, you know you, you you know you're a star you're a star seed Aquarius you you figured out that you know you pour out all your love onto everybody that you meet you're you know you're this person you're somebody that believes in equality you know you're an Aquarian you believe in giving equally and if that doesn't go on it pisses you off and I know because I'm a fucking Aquarius and that's why I can speak on it and I love you guys I just mean because. And uh, look, you're being seen as a star empress with more strength than anybody thought you had, honey, baby. You know, you're birthing your ideas into reality at the moment because you're a star. And you moved away from acting uh, up in your head and acting a fool around, you know. You could have been going through menopause like all those women out here. And that's when you act a fool sometimes, you know. And I just hope that you passed the test and you didn't actually do anything, you know, like me. I actually didn't do nothing crazy people. And, I, and I'm telling you the truth, and I can take a lot of texture tests. And you're going to receive um, some uh, giant wealth from the divine. Oh, thank you. You're getting ready to see some money. And uh, you might start seeing it in small sums. But now, I'll tell you right now, if you're alchemizing a business, you got to think big. And you got to know that it's coming to you. And that way, it will come to you because you change your mind frequency. And it will. And I know it is to me. And um, it, you're, you're slowly growing right now in your business. Someone's slowly moving towards you. Uh, it could be this Queen of Pickles. She's, she wanted to uh, slowly move towards you at the moment and see if you would uh, accept her forgiveness or something out here, you guys. And uh, somebody from your past, somebody can't stop thinking about you. They're in nostalgia. They're like, oh, Lordy, I wish it. I could just have one more time to talk to you. I can't stop thinking about the last time I seen you and the things that we discussed and I just can't wait to see your loving face again. That's what somebody said now and it could be as Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces woman. But it doesn't have to, but have to be. I believe it's just saying this, uh, this pinnacle, this Knight of Pinnacles, this man, he can't stop thinking about you and all your giant love that you poured out to everybody equally. They they wish they hadn't said things or done things to you now. That's what it's saying. And what happened is Spirit blessed you. Uh, you're, you're working on your family legacy. You know, Ten of Pinnacles, this is a, you know, you're working on your money at the moment. That's, that's the angels come to balance you, give you strength to work on your business and and look, now you're going to be wish fulfillment. Look, I already come on her star, double wish fulfillment. That's what you are, baby. Uh, all them confusing ideas, you know. You Somebody knows that you're their only one, and you know that they're your only one. And, and you know, and my only one pulled out with me, and I love you. And I tell you right now, and whoever this cancer is that comes out around in my energy all the time, I don't mess with no cancer. So I don't know who you are, honey, but you might as well quit coming over here and looking and poking around, whoever you are get out of my energy that's why it keeps pulling out maybe this is somebody at your partner used to court back long ago and you don't know what their fucking sign is but it tells you all the time and it's a four it's a four cancer over here and and you're talking about it right now you know and somebody wants to come tell you advice communication and it might be your children if you got two children that's grown a uh, page energy like 20s and you know uh they see that you have skills and courage and you're very ambitious and energetic and lively. They see that you moved away from that old way of doing and being and feeling like exhausted for uh, helping everybody else. You started helping yourself and it could be that uh, a law, that it could be a cop around is up in their nightmares too because when you find chariot, that also can mean that. But I think you moved away from being uh, stuck in this confusion worried about something else that that, uh, that you thought might have been better and, and you stop thinking about it all the time. You stop focusing on it and spirit loves you for that. And uh, that's why, look, 
that's why you know you're going to have um celebrations with your partner you or whoever you're all thinking about out here Aquarius, virgo or cancer y'all might be getting ready to get married and and you're sitting at the top of the wheel look you got pure karma listen if you see this wheel of fortune this pure karma i'm going to let you in on something this is aquarius taurus scorpio i mean aquarius taurus scorpio and, and leo this is our energy we're people that has pure karma we sit at the top of the wheel do you understand and these devils see this devil and these snakes they always try to get around to us to try to make us act crazy and act out of sorts are you listening but we hold all the information see the books have you all learned this yet that you know and i have every one of these in me and if you got this in your four corners of your birth chart somebody taught me this other day and i love that woman i thank her for telling me because she's right if you have this these fixed signs all four of them in your birth chart buddy you're powerful and i know it and i love you spirit and i thank you for that woman she's a blessing because she let me know how special i was so you might be a keeper of knowledge you know uh when we come in this world it's wrote down and when we leave it's wrote down do you understand you're a keeper of knowledge oh and people's figured it out and, and i figured it out and i and i'm not going back to that way of doing you all no 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 so reading it this way it says um you know it was about equal give and take and you was uh you, you was waiting on somebody and and they was moving real slow and you put your sword up to them and you moved away from that person and now they can't stop thinking about you they feel wounded uh and now they feel that uh they got rejected and you're you alchemized to be this loving caring mother that that's why angels blessed you uh to and give you enough scent common sense and strength to not act crazy maybe he's going through menopause like i said and, and your fam you're you're going to be gaining your family legacy right here soon that's what you're working on you're building it and, and you're standing up for it in your beliefs and your hope for all star your wish fulfillment twice it says you know the star card means wish fulfillment and this card in the nine of cups means will wish fulfillment you know you're just happy it's about blessings uh your dreams coming true and and you and uh your person doesn't see any options they only see you you're the star you outshine them do you understand you're an empress uh you're you're birthing your new uh business idea or you could be uh having a baby out here at the moment this is about motherhood you know and and, and uh somebody wants to talk to you real fast and it could be like i said a, a younger energy wanting to talk to you they want to see how you get your ideas they see it you got the attitude to get anything done and 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 you're teaching these younger people and around about they need to move away from staying up in their head being caught up over somebody that don't pay no mind to you are you listening if they don't pay no attention to you don't be stuck in your head over that person because they don't like you do you understand oh i understand i love spirit do y'all love spirit if you love spirit then you hit a little like and hit a subscribe and i love you and 13 13 oh 44 like i said cancer you know fours our go our goes, goes to the root so no this ain't nobody screwing around with me and my old man i know it I, I do know a cancer two or three of them around or if probably more than that if i sit and thought about it but i'm talking about close around me but all this means with me this is me and my old man and this is about our family roots oh wow and, and you all out here it's listen to me it's got a family and somebody might be a mess with you all we're getting ready to see good for me. don't worry it's coming to us and i'm gonna get you a couple of me these messages and that's all i'm gonna do for you all okay what do you want to tell us today spirit what, what do you want to tell us about we want to tell us about what do you want to tell us about spirit tell us a song um, tell us tell us something um, tell us tell us tell us tell us tell us a little story and I appreciate each and every one of you all. And we all go through different journeys out here. And, and people that doesn't go through the same journeys, y'all shouldn't talk about it. And I want that to be made clear. If you haven't went through something, you can't really talk about it. Do y'all know this yet? And us tarot readers, we need to be aware of that. You can't talk about things that you never really had to endure. I, this is what I'm trying to make clear to you, people out here, okay? Hey, you guys. Do 
All right, so here we go. Dog, she's in here on the floor now, you all. She's in here on the floor. She's scared that storm. Every time it storms, do y'all got dogs like that? Or cats, they'll get scared and come to your side. But now dogs do it a lot. They get real scared. I think cats is braver than dogs about in that sense. Do y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, my son has cats. And my one son, he's got a little dog named Jack, and I watch him all the time, and he pisses every morning and gets me mad. Because I give that little dog anything it wants. They, they're, they're like fat. They got, like, diabetes. I love them so much. I give them good food, you know what I mean? And then they'll go piss. And when a dog does that, you know, they're mad at you. And I'm like, why do you get mad at me, little dog? I'll give you everything. But you're an energy healing teacher. I love you, spirit. Did you see how that pulled out? Pulled out for you, Aquarius and Virgo and Cancers. And upon their thirsty hearts, his words fell with blessed life-giving power, and they longed for his confidence. That's from the Bible. Somebody is longing for your confidence again. They know that you that you uh, your words are a blessing, and all of us good peoples, we don't ask for money. See? I'll, if you're an energy healing teacher and you're like me, you don't ask for money, I say if people wants to donate to me they can and if you want to donate to me you got to look on my about page i don't write it on all my videos like somebody a lot of these people do i don't do that so if you want to donate to me you got to actually go on my about page hit my picture my picture and then go past videos and all that scroll scroll do you find about and you'll figure out how to do it and your energy reveals to me every time how you really feel about me so don't think that i don't know so you're telling somebody around that you know their energy and and they some devil that is mad because you don't want his prick. Oh, and you're somebody that does things graciously, he, he, uh, you healing energy teacher, you. And if your hand itches daily, you're getting ready to receive money from the divine. Oh, and that's what's going to happen to me because I sat down in solitude. The spirit told me to. An adventure awaits you, my dear. Let's get this going. Somebody wants to uh, get going with you. And it's this devil prick. That's why it's in red. See? And you don't want that person. You're somebody that looks forever young. You're gracious and you love it. And and you've got to have lived it before you can talk about it. See, thank you for that spirit. Did you hear what I just said a while ago? I wasn't lying to y'all. There's a lot of readers that'll be like talking about hit mans and, and um, or if you, you, you've seen that they picked up things about your cousin and your journey and you're like, how can you talk about it if you didn't live it? Do you understand what I'm saying? 1818, I've noticed that, 99. And, you know, so I'm going to talk about it. You can't talk about things, you all. All of us readers out here, you got to pay attention. You can't talk about things that you didn't go through. Divine Masculine is waking up since you've been teaching him about your pie. Well, good. And Divine Masculine wishes he would have been there for you and not pushed you away from him. So maybe, you know, your person pushed you away because you might have told him a bunch of things, you know, uh, like I did my old man. And, you know, you can feel when they push you away a little bit. But it's all right because we're not in that energy anymore. And that's why I can talk about it in my readings. That's why I tell you about things that's happened to me. And I show you, okay? And I tell you. It comes out of my mouth. These people can't say it. Like, if, if, if they've actually had a hit, man, well, tell what happened to you when that hit man come. You know what I'm saying? I actually have. I have did that. And I know one other reader that does that, you know. And, and she's the only one. That really does that, me and her. But they're nervous of the outcome in your life. That's what it is. And someone's boss comes up behind them at work and says, Can I grab you by the wussy? And that might have been the one that sent hit me. It's like I was talking about. Oh, they're going through your trash. It's boss is. That said, Can I grab you by the wussy? If y'all had a boss hit did that, you can go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe because I'm sure there's more out there than me that had to deal with that. You started focusing on your own self and healing. And that's how you heal. And, you know, you stop doing their laced drugs. Their cocaine and pot. You, you stop doing that. And the karmic follows the divine feminine to work. She was, uh, they was paid to watch you. Yeah. So his boss paid him to do it. And you left all this in December, or you found this out in December. You went in solitude like I did in December. Somebody did. 
and you got a sunny disposition, you're always cheerful and happy. Yeah, that's me. I've always been that. Anybody that knows me can tell you I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a fake. And you were sitting here to show people that magic is in all of us. Yeah. Magic's in all of us. You got to tell the magical, delicious things that happened inside of you, and that's how you'll be magically delicious, delicious, poofly delicious. Oh, you got a willingness to show spirit. And, and I'm saying, I never seen such a hypocritical, lying ass bitch in my life to these people that steals things like I was just talking about. And you know the laws of the universe. And, and, uh, and now, when the laws of the universe and, and people are looking to you, for what's going to happen next. Well, the law of that is, if you went around stealing people's stories, you readers out here, I'm telling you right now, the laws of the universe, it's coming back. Oh, wow. You wanted to talk about all that? You better watch them. They might be getting ready to take you down like they did chosen one. Oh, wow. And it ain't going to be funny when they do. It'll scare the fuck out of you. Like it did me when that hit, when that hit man come to me. My, my brother, my brother, I, and I was sitting in a truck and I was looking down and my brother said, Pam, watch out. And I looked. And he was creeping with a black mask. That's why you see that mask card when I talk about that in my arena. That's why you see that. Because it actually happened to me. And I'm going to speak about it. And I'm going to talk about it. Because it ain't right. It ain't right for that shit to happen. And have these people sending people to you like that. That's fucked up. But you're building your wealth and empire every day. And God's going to reward you for your efforts. And, and all the work that you did on yourself and your business. And you're going to get paid for all that shit that they did. You know, the uh, uh, it's all going backwards. It's it's all getting sent backwards to them. That's what the fuck that means. Or it might just be a backward person. They tried to separate us with love spells. They tried to separate you and your partner. And if you're married, they tried to separate you from your husband. You was being psychically manipulated by them people. Facts are facts. Face the facts. Somebody, uh, somebody said, I truly wanted to stay. And it says, uh, somebody knows they can't meet you until the the next uh, lifetime. Somebody knows they can't meet you until the next lifetime, lifetime. And hard work really pays off. And, and somebody's not listening to their intuition. And all who willfully depart from God's commandments are placing themselves under the control of Satan. Are you listening? Hard work really pays off. They tried to separate us. Divine Masculine wishes he'd been there for you instead of pushing you away. And, uh... And they know they can't meet you till the next life, this other person. And they wanted to stay, but they cycled through manipulating you. There's being backwards. They didn't listen to their intuition. You're building your wealth. You're forever young. You do things graciously. You got a willingness to show others that just keeping a sunny disposition will make you feel better. And if your hand itches, you're going to get some money. And all of us good peoples, we don't ask for money for our readings. You were sent here to show people that magic is in all of us. You focused on yourself and healing. Your energy healing teacher face the facts. Solitude is what made this. And, and you're teaching a uh, divine mask on about your house path. You're waking him up and I always started in December when the karmic was paid to follow you to work. They're going through your trash to see if they can find Coke bags. They're going through the trash to see if they can find Coke bags. Well, you ain't going to find none over here, but you can find some from the people I used to work for. Oh, oh wow, that I cleaned their house for. Oh, and they're nervous of the outcome of your life. And you you, you have to have lived it before you can speak about it, people. That's why I can speak so passionately, because I fucking lived it. Oh, and my adventure is waiting, and somebody's boss comes up and says, what, Can I grab you by the wussy? Oh, they're mad because they, they, you didn't want their wiener, and that's the truth. And you know the laws of the universe, and, and, and they don't. And what's going to happen is all the shit they did to you, it's coming back to them. And they're hypocrites. And and they long for your confidence again. Because your energy, your energy is powerful. When you walk in a room, people stands up and says, Oh God, who is that? I know that that person right there is powerful. they never seen somebody like you. That your your energy is just it's it's off the charts. It's amazing, and, and they just want to be around you and feel that again. That's all it is. And they can't steal your uh, they can't steal your light. That's why they're mad and jealous of you. See these people that think they can outdo your story. They can't steal your fucking light. That's why they're jealous of you. Oh yeah, and I'm saying that today. Uh huh. They can't. And I hope this helps somebody out here today. And to all my loyal subscribers, I love you guys. And um, 
I hope uh, that somebody gets something from this and they listen to what I'm saying because, I mean, it was true. What I was saying, it was true, and I just love y'all, and I like doing the things I was sent here to help others. I am a star seed. I'm an Aquarius star seed. Who do y'all think that actually um, started the, uh, the stars in astrology? Think about it. It was us. And that's why I know I'm going to be a success in it because I do things diligently, and I do it daily, and I keep continuing to do it, and I'm going to keep continuing to do it. And I love you guys, and, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Peace.